This is how we fly on a private jet. Do you feel me? You didn't remind me before we got on a plane. We not give interview. Bad man running him. Bad man done him. Uh oh, here come the cops. Here come the cops. Here come the cops. Here come the So we're in Montreal, and I noticed a lot of people recognize us. Yo, I'm with Ben Maller right here in Montreal. What's going on? So let's do a meet and greet. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. So here we are in Montreal. You guys got a great city here. A bunch of people showed up, but some of them had some strange requests. Sign a $20 bill. No! Or can you write something? You don't have to sign it. A $20 bill? Yeah. You're not allowed to write our money. It's against the law. It's On the queen? It doesn't matter. Where you might sign it. A $100 bill. bill. <laughs> American. Oh, shit. You know you're in jail for this. How are you, sir? How are you? Because of you, I bought a motel, huh? You bought a motel because of me? Yeah, I did. Do I get a free night? Um, 150. Oh, yeah, right. 150. You buy some hotel because of me, but I can't get a free night. That's all right. I, I probably don't want to stay there. Oh, yeah, you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> uh oh, he brought his bodyguard. I've been watching Ben since the beginning. I really enjoy his content. He shows the good, the bad, the ugly. If you're saving money, you're making money. Thank you. Yeah, if it now, makes sense. Say that 10 times every day. Yeah. And you'll get it. Habla español. Claro que sí. Oh. Vine, vine desde Ottawa nomás para verlo. Yeah. Acabo de, acabo de salir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Adios, amigo. Sign that. Oh, shit. He bought some merch, baby. I got Is that you. from us? Where you want to put it? Cigarette. In your mouth, yeah. Yeah, I'm the sick. I'm the sick. Uh, we've been watching you Ben since the beginning. <laughs> it's 2016, 2017, legend. Here come the cops. We want to put it to sleep. Uh oh, here come the cops. Here come the cops. Here come the cops. Hey, it was nice seeing everybody, <laughs> but the police are here, and I'm leaving. Thank the you. Cops are here. I don't need security. <laughs> Who's gonna? You're gonna run after somebody, Biggie? No, no, I'll slow them down. I'll just sit on them. Or Me and you together could crush them. It's Every a baby. Every time I watch your videos, like, oh. I hope she don't learn how to curse. Funny. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. This guy's pretty strong. <laughs> Oh, shit. I got shit on. Oh my god, autograph. You better not use this on a no, check or nothing. Worry. He said, start small and then you work your way up. That's what I'm going to end up doing. Unfortunately, I don't have the cash to start. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Montreal is the best city you could ever imagine coming to. Why? Look around. It's beautiful. The people are fabulous. The food is over the top. So if you want a good time and you want to learn how life is really like, come to Montreal, baby. Yeah. Montreal! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And tell them Ben sent you. You came 200 miles? Are you crazy? If you haven't, you have to look at your opportunities. You can do real estate any time in your life. You can get a career first, get your career, make money, establish yourself, and then when you save some money up, you start doing real estate. All you gotta do is go into tougher neighborhoods. You know, just put on your mean face. He's not a tough guy, he's a nice guy. But you can look like a tough guy, show us your mean face. That's the face. That's the face <laughs> that will pay you the rent. Hi, hi, this Mr. guy's an hour and a half late. It was a... Uh, uh... Yeah, I know, it was a chicken crossing the road. Nice of you to wake up. He's not used to getting up this early. We're going in to confess our sins because I'm hanging out with sinners. Here we are in Notre Dame in Montreal. This church is almost 200 years old and we just saw a fascinating light show. For a minute there, I thought Michael Jackson hologram was gonna come out. Oh shit, it's hot and my back's killing me from the benches. <laughs> All right, here we are. Carla wanted to go to the Ferris wheel in Montreal. So we're here, let's check it out. She doesn't stop saying, do this and do that, and I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> Just worry about what you're doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Carla decided they were gonna do the zip line. This way you can't say you had no fun on your vacation. <laughs> then we went out to dinner and had some amazing pizza. Are you kidding me? I'm like the coolest mom ever. I'm like, don't you think that? I'm pretty cool. So, uh, that is really rude, by the way. 
I'm having a dog fight out here. And while we're sitting on the street eating, mm. people recognized us. How was the last what? Movie, movie. Movie? Yeah. All right, try English, because I don't speak French. Oh, yeah, I said, what was the last movie? Yeah, man, what Yo, you talking man, about? Man, I love you, man. This man, I don't know. Real he real looks man. shady to me, He's man. Not a real man. I don't know, Mali. I'm a reggae, reggae artist. artist. You're a reggae actor. We don't give interview. Bullet from the magazine make the boy of them scare. Bad man run attack. him. Bad man done him. He's the real deal, man. man. This old, is the real old, deal. Old, the old Montreal. Man. Plus, he knows how to run a, he knows how to run a good split, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ganja time. Yeah, let me ask you a question. You live in Jamaica, right? Yeah. Okay. When I grew up in New York, I grew up around Jamaicans, right? Oh. To use the leaf of leaf. the corn. Oh, God. Ancient thing. I want to take it to Jamaica. To, to, I'm not going to Jamaica. They'll I buck one in my rust ass. The last time I went to Jamaica, Jamaica yeah. my wife, she was eating a jerk chicken. <laughs> she wanted a jerk all night. <laughs> What happened? They got married? They got engaged. They got engaged? Yeah. You better come talk to me. Let me just, let me give you an education. What do you have to say? Congratulations. If we get divorced, basically, anything you gotta tell me, you're gonna have to go through Aaron. <laughs> if we get divorced and you're stuck in the middle, I'm gonna be telling you what to tell her, she's gonna be telling you what to tell me. You tell your mother, goddammit. I'm not giving her no more goddamn money. You're out of your allowance, and that's all you get. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Well, you better tell your daddy. <laughs> He's giving me more. I don't you think like this it or is not. healthy. Sometimes <laughs> less is more. It's time to go. Come on. Oh my goodness, she never knows when the party's over. She just wants to keep going and going and going. She's like that rabbit for the Duracell commercial. Come on, let's go. Find a place for us to eat before we get to the airport. You can go to your McDonald's. I'm not going to McDonald's. Tight. Parking is tight. Traffic coordination. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Yo, you're How are a you? Montreal guy. Yo, I'm nice in Montreal, to meet you. man. <laughs> oh, no way. Man, this guy got a lot of gold, man. Come on, man. Give me a go. Yo, I'm with Ben Mala right here. Ben Mala, Ben. Why? Guy. Because we're fat. We you like food? Oh, yeah, right. smart. Bro. Yeah. We he's like a, money. He's a hustler. He's a hustler. That's yeah, why he's in legally, cop cart right not now. Not like you. No, no. I'm, I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm see that purse you got. How much you got in there? Yeah. I'm here from Montreal. We smoking, you know, every time, every day. Smoking weed. Wesh Ben Mala, salut. Bienvenue à la Montréal, hein? La famille. Ah, look, follow, follow for the fans, hein? Follow. You always got to mix business with pleasure. Or even while I'm here, I'm on the phone, I'm on the emails, I'm on the texts. We're trying to sell a hotel and clothes tomorrow. A couple of Win Dixies in contract. Uh, we got one Publix in contract. Uh, BJ's in contract. Uh, I'm still negotiating on Midway. I mean, I'm juggling the portfolio even as we're out here in uh, Montreal. That's the way you got to live when you're in real estate. You can't just shut down. It doesn't work that way. The deals keep going, whether you're on vacation, no matter what you're doing, you're always working. You know, you got lawyers working, I got Ben Jr. working, I got the brokers working. You know, the whole machine is moving. I just gotta keep feeding the grease to keep the machine moving. That's the way it works when you run a real estate portfolio. I've seen you too. I've seen you at this Rolex store in Montreal once. How are you? How are you? Nice you? to meet you, thank you. Good, good. We came here on Friday morning and we're leaving in about, right now we're going to the airport. Yeah. So my wife is Mexican, and we had to get us some Mexican yeah, food restaurant. It starts good. getting yeah. weird. Yeah. Look at this. We could have been on Air Canada with the same money. What's that? Are you sober? Yeah, nice and sober. Do you think be, you know damn well you cannot go pee right now. You better hold it. You didn't remind me before we got on the plane. Yeah, yeah. It's that time again. Time for me to get on your case about covering your ass with our sponsors at Masterworks. Look, I get it. You guys have heard and seen it all by now. You've seen that 98% of the ultra rich allocate at least 5% of their portfolios to art. You've heard me say, art's historically smoked the S&P 500 for almost 30 years. If you can still trust this market, then fine. But 
You've also seen these interest rates. You see, these banks are dumping their real estate loans. But maybe you haven't seen the headlines. Masterworks just closed their 15th exit a couple of weeks ago. Their 15th for a profit with a 77% net annualized return. Now, to be transparent, I've invested with Masterworks. And like any investment, past returns may not be indicative of Masterworks paintings not yet sold, and past performance is not indicative of future results. But get this, they just launched their biggest offering yet, a $36 million Basquiat piece. And you can get a piece too. If you're one of the thousands of my subscribers who've already invested, you're all clear, baby. You can get in on the action from your phone if you want. But if you're still dragging your feet and twiddling your thumbs, consider this your cue. Masterworks just cracked 800,000 members and shares are going fast. So go ahead and hit the link in the description. Thank you, Masterworks, for sponsoring this video. This is how we fly on a private jet. Aaron's trying to find his mother a drink. Your mother wants a drink. Fix her a drink. That's the pilot. Oh, I tell you, the service on this airline leaves to be desired. First time I ever opened up a tray on a G100. Ooh, look at this, baby. Like Rolls Royce would. Fancy. Joe Rogan, why do rich people drive cheap cars? Every rich person I know don't drive a cheap car. What's the point of being rich if you ain't got a goddamn nice car? I don't get it. I mean, if you're trying to get rich, that's a different story. But if you're rich, you want to have the nice pledges in life. That was the whole point of working hard and being getting rich. I don't see how people think. If you got to worry about the difference between a cheap car and an expensive car, then you ain't rich. Wait, am I rich? You're a rich? I spoke on planes my whole life up until the age of 20, 21, from Germany to US, all that, because commercial flights 35 years ago, whatever, would let you smoke on a plane. Every seat I asked right in, we take a long flight in this plane, I'm getting a microwave, and I'm I'm stocking it with white castles after no, every not. trip. You're not doing that. The dentist said the floss all the time. I don't want to know about your floss. You want a floss? No, stop. I was going to tell you. I know. No. no. The beauty of getting dentures is that the teeth are all stuck together and you don't have to worry about flossing. If you can't make it, fake it. That's what my wife does. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Do you feel pee? You know damn well you cannot go pee right now. You better hold it. You didn't remind me before we got on a plane. Seriously, I have to remind you now that you have to go pee? Yes, that's what you do with old people. Oh, oh shit. Oh my God. Almost knocked the drink Look over. I never used a bathroom on this plane before. I don't think you will I think we have an agreement that we don't use it. Stuck there. I'm staying back here. This is the most comfortable seat on the plane. Every time she makes me mad, I got my own room to go to. Oh, thank God. That's, I thought you were going to pull oh, me yeah, You go in here. <laughs> Switch. No. You stay in your room. No. I think there's actually, look at this. What's in here? What else? Oh, shit. We found diet soda. We got mini sprites. You want a mini sprite? Bring those. See if the kids want. You want anything? No. Hello. This is Control with Ben. How can I help you? If you need to consult with Ben, go to benmile.com slash shop. Get me on the phone. Better yet, come on down and have a private meeting. Come stay in our hotel, bring you a deal, put it on a table, and let's see what you need to do to make some money. It looks like we got about two hours left in our flight down to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And let us know if you need anything else. And uh, thank you for flying Mala Air. The housekeeper's over to the plane. Look at how the mess you just made. You're gonna get yourself <laughs> in trouble. Oh, I'm ready for some trouble, baby. I'm ready to the moon, Alice. 
Hit the brakes! <laughs> they rattle around like an old tin can. All right, we had to make a stop here in Fort Lauderdale. You know, we're going to Fort Lauderdale. Why? Because we have to stop the plane at Immigration and Customs. Then we get back on a plane and we drive the plane to the other side, to the other airport. So basically, we're using the plane as a taxi. That's what they call a taxi on the runway. So I go in there and they ask you the usual question. Do you have more than $10,000? I said, no, I don't have more than $10,000, but I do have $10,000. So. They bring the dog out. I didn't even know dogs can smell money. Dogs and wives. So basically, the dog goes around, he sniffs all our bags, he sniffs everybody, and he practically attacks me. He jumps all over me. The guy's got to pull the dog off of me. Why? I guess he smelled the bag, uh, bag I had with the $10,000 in it. So they made me go in back. I had to fill out a paper, and I counted the money. And it, when I counted it out, it was exactly $10,000. So we got the heck out of there. Now we're back on the plane, and now we'll go to the other side of the airport where we normally get off at. That's the story. Okay, we sold the hotel in Fort Lauderdale. Vincent has vacated the house and moved to his house, so now I have a house. But I need furniture. He took the mattresses. So here we are. We're at the furniture store, and this gentleman here is going to help us find some mattresses so we can have a place to sleep if somebody wants to stay in the house. But I'll be staying on the boat. All right, so we got a metal frame for $69, right? Yep. But today is only $49. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> We're going to have to use a box spring. Just a box price is going to be, of course, the $8.99. Too much. It's going to give you both pieces. All right, so we can, if you want, we can work our way up. <laughs> I'm not sleeping in it, so this is the lowest price you've got. That is the lowest Sears used to have them sitting there, and the returns, you got any returns? No, we turn to see his warehouse used to have all that stuff. Yeah, everything comes brand new. 600 bucks. But um, I know we had some clearance ones too. But clearance, clearance. We like clearance. We like clearance. I still have any stock though. Clearance is my favorite word. These are pretty shitty. I mean, I mean, I'm not sleeping on it, but I can feel the springs. Big money, big money. These kids are always picking out the expensive shit. It's like his mother. It's nice. 800 bucks. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this one's really good compared to the other ones. Oh my God, I can feel the springs. All right, you got no clearance? Clearance, clearance. No clearance. I think that's probably the best deal. This comes with the box spring for that price, and you'll throw in the metal frame too, right? And delivery. Well, well that I can't do, but like I said, we'll try to work out the best deal for you though. And then, um, you got anything on clearance on twins? So how much with the box spring is how much? Three forty nine. Three forty nine with the box spring. Right. I mean, if I was sleeping on the bed, I'd be laying down on each one of these, testing them out, like I've done. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sleeping on it unless I get into a fight with my wife, and then I'll make her sleep on it. I mean, you always want to get the best deal. Let me tell you, there's a lot of markup in this stuff. All right, these guys here are discounting stuff pretty good because they're wholesalers. But you know, you gotta always try to get a bargain and try to get a deal. You know, mattresses have a big markup. Furniture has a tremendous markup. That's why you come to a place like this. This is American Freight. American Freight bought out Sears when they went belly up, and they took over all their furniture and stuff. But they went discount wholesale. Instead of having big fancy stores, they just got a warehouse, and they fill up the warehouse, they set the stuff up, they cut down the prices, they cut their overhead, and you get a good deal. So 16, 26, 31. Too much, too much. Make it cheaper, make it cheaper. That's the best we could do. Saving money is making money. And when you got high maintenance kids like me, you need to save money. Swing it like this and back in. See if we can get away with it. You're making money. I don't blame you. Everybody's got to make some money. So what are you doing? You giving me money? If you need change. I thought you were going to buy his lunch. What do we need change for? $2? That's it? That's pretty good. I'll tell you what. Here's five, and you keep the change, Thank since you, you helped so us so much. Right. Whoops, be careful to get that, Aaron. I was just watching you. Were you really? And now you're watching me again. How are you, sir? Dude, this is crazy. Nice look. to meet you. Right here, look. I was just watching it. Oh, boy. What's your name? Mark. Mark, I'm Mark Ben. Pizer. Good old Polish guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's Polish, you're know, Polish. Right. They got no sausage here, only burgers. <laughs> First time trying it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. You don't know what you're in for. Really? This is the best burger you can find anywhere. Look at the beautiful decor they got here. These toilets are worthless. What do they do? 
what better to grow something in but a toilet, a tub. They cut out the tub, they made it a couch, they got a tub over there, they made it a planter. You know, this place has character, like me. Le Burger, the original. And look at the atmosphere. Waterfront dining, all right, it's a little, you know, it's, it's what they call rustic. And if you want more water, you get it yourself. Thank God there's no pierogies on this menu. <laughs> Swiss over there, one Swiss. Thank you. Got it, got it. Look at that. Look at the size of that burger, baby. You want to be a real king? There's your burger right there, Burger King. Look at that. That's a burger, baby. Look, I can't even hold it. I skipped breakfast for this. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. It says, thanks for coming. See you tomorrow. If they saw me tomorrow, I'd be dropped dead here if I ate that burger two days in a row. Subscribe. Check out Masterworks and hit the like button. Adios, amigos.